Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today I wanted to film a video kind of giving you an update on my planning journey and new system. So if you have not followed me and you have not watched any of my videos, just a little update. I have been planning exclusively in an A5 Lit Fun or Saic journal um, and also uh, a 6x9 journal that was 800 pages. These are really, really thick notebooks. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, I highly encourage you to go back just a little bit to kind of see what I'm talking about. So I've been planning exclusively in those two journals and I definitely had a blast. But if you did not hear me mention in my recent video, I am going back to school. So I went to school for social services when I was in the States and now I'm going to school for human resources. So this is a little program for me to just, you know, take really quick and yeah, uh, do something else in my spare time. I really wanted to, you know, go back to school for something and so this is what I decided to go back to school for. Um, and though I'm not going to be done once I'm done with this program, but it is something to jumpstart what I am indeed uh, going after. So um, I have a couple of things in front of me. I have a D-ringed Filofax Domino in personal. I have a personal Webster's Pages planner that I got in a Happy Mail Um box uh, from one of my lovely subscribers. I love this planner, by the way. And I also have a A5 Lahit lab case that holds a A5 uh, Saic or Lit Fun journal that you can find on Amazon. And also my digital uh, system, which is just a I iPad Air 2. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to go over, um, let's see, let's go over the Filofax first because I feel like this is the one that's not, you know, um, that strenuous to talk about. And let's just try to move some things out of the way. I'm sorry, I keep bouncing my camera back and forth. So I de-ring this um, and solely the purpose was not specifically for this notebook I personally bought something to go uh to, for this notebook to go in I should say but I've never owned a6 and I don't own anything b6 and so I was really kind of just guesstimating to see if this journal would fit into something so um this journal I got off of AliExpress. It's the same size, or not same size, it's the same brand as the Saic or Lit Fun journal. I did have to cut the cover down just a little bit um, to fit in the pockets because it was just a little bit too wide and really stretched the pockets. Um, so I didn't really care about cutting it down because it was going to be in a cover anyway that you wouldn't be able to see. Um, but I do have it on strings and that's just solely to keep it close to the spine and in place. And yeah, so I mean, I love what I did with it, but I really wish that it would have been able to fit. So I bought a A6 Print Pressions TN and um, when I got this, I looked at it and I said, whoa, this is really, really small. I wasn't really anticipating this being extremely small. Um, I thought that it might at least be this size, but as I'm looking at it now, it was just a little bit off. It was just like maybe a centimeter off at the most. So it, it really was a little bit too small for the journal itself. Um, also, I don't own anything A6 that could fit in here in this, um, what is this TN cover from print pressions I took the strings out of it and I am thinking about putting the strings back in it when I do decide to go into something uh, a little bit smaller than a personal but for the time being I'm keeping this uh, tucked away for those moments when I want to spend money I can shop my stash I do have one journal that seems to be a perfect fit for this particular notebook 
Um, but then again, like I said, I don't know. I may just get like some pocket sequence notebooks and put them in here because I did test out my, my sequence in here, but that's about it. That's the only, uh, notebook that I kind of considered that would fit in here. And I've never tried Astology, so maybe that would be the time I would try one. So other than that, I got this journal in this cover specifically because I am going to be journaling. Uh, I decided to move my journaling from planning to a journal of its own and I will be doing all the creative things that I did in my 6x9 bullet journal or bujo journal as you will. Um, I will be moving all of that information, all of that creativity into this. It's a blank journal. It's got that cream colored paper, but um, yeah, I, I just think that for what I am intending to do with my system now, I think that it will go in here. I'm not intending on putting anything in these pockets. I just want to keep it as simple as possible and keep it a journal because I don't want to turn this into a planner. Although I don't mind journaling and planning, I just specifically want to use this as a journal. So that is that. Um, two other things that I have before me is I have the Webster's Pages uh, planner and then I have my um, digital system. So a lot of you, like I've mentioned in the past, are not digital planner people, but that's okay. I do encourage you, however, to just play around with digital planning, even if you don't use your own um, or even if you don't use a digital system solely for planning, if you just play around with it and use it just a little bit, it kind of gives you ideas for what you want to do in your real life hardbound or uh, what do you call this ringbound planner system. Um, I get a lot of ideas from this and I implement some of those ideas to here because I play around with different layouts and different uh, digital um, pages and things like that all the time. Um, and also, not only that, I just love how fun it is to play in this. So I'll show you what I'm doing in here in a moment. So I want to do a flip of this. And so my intentions is to basically get myself started on a system, again, that is straightforward, straight to the point without uh, any, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Distractions. So if you followed me in the past, then these inserts will come to no surprise to you. They are exactly the same inserts I've been using in all of my ring bound systems. Originally, I had some undated inserts in here from the brand Le Bon's. It's like an off brand. Uh, you probably won't be able to find it uh, on Amazon just by typing in like Le Bon. It'll probably pop up with like all of the different binders that they make. But they also have some inserts that I used that were undated. So uh, to move forward with this, I kept this simple, okay? Everything that you've seen in here in the past is still the same. The dividers are still the same. The system layout is still the same. All I've done really is change the guts, which is just the actual inserts itself. So when you move past this first little cover, and this is just a Filofax pocket, if I should have anything to like slide in here, I can do so. This little dashboard with this uh, sticker that I laminated, um, my info sheet that I've moved around. I have a little index here that I need to change because that no longer applies for this, uh, not notebook, for this system. A yearly overview. And I'm trying to go fast because I don't want the video to be about 30 minutes. Um, also, I have a monthly section. So in my monthly section, I have a monthly pullout. And originally, this was supposed to be something that I was tracking uh, paydays, birthdays, holidays, and vacation days. But with Corona happening, um, this system didn't get utilized as much. Um, so yeah, I'm just solely using it as reference. 
Um, and I'll probably add something else to it because I am going to be starting classes this month. My planner is stuffed and the reason why I kind of uh, despise rings a little bit now is because I tend to overstuff rings when I'm in them. Bound books just give me enough paper and I can't really overstuff it unless I tip in or glue in things. Um, but when I'm in rings, I do this and yeah. So... Um, but rings make me feel very productive and like, like I'm really planning something when I'm in here. Um, I have a monthly overview. If you've seen this monthly overview in any of my planner systems in the past, I used this insert, uh, along with my finance insert and actually I have something else that I'm using with my finance inserts this time. It is more of like a weekly insert dedicated to to finances but I've moved these to the front and solely they're just going to be um, a insert for me to plop in like those appointments that are coming up uh, important days that I need to remember and things like that um, so I have six months six months worth I probably don't need six months worth but I like to do a lot of forward planning also I have a goal section um, this stayed the same from the previous setup that I had in here. The only thing that I added to it was some trackers. So I have a monthly tracker in here. And so I've split this tracker up into a couple of things. I have the habits that I want to track, which is about nine, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, nine uh, habits that I want to track this month. I also have some moods that I want to track this month. Instead of using my markers to kind of check off or color in, like I've been doing on all of my daily inserts, um, I'm going to try to keep this uh, system straightforward and to the point because as I'm thinking that I am going to be online doing classes, it's going to be really hard for me to focus on what's important if I get sidetracked with other things that I probably don't need to spend time on. And then I'm kind of playing around with a sleep tracker. My idea was to try and figure out how to get all three of the things that I wanted to keep track of on one insert. Um, so for anyone who makes inserts, if you don't have a sleep tracker on your insert, it would be a great thing for those who like to track uh, sleep um, to kind of play around with putting that on one insert. I would love to see it. I've never seen it. If there's an insert out there that does have it, please link it down below. I would love to try it. But um, for, for what I've had, for just what I can do right now, I'm just going to play around with this. If it works, I'll let you guys know. I do have my ovulation tracker behind that um, because I am in my pregnancy journey. When we get to this insert, it's just weekly and these are notorious weekly inserts that I've been using um, in all of my ring bound systems. I love this insert so, so much. It came in the ring bound planner that my husband got me for Christmas. And so ever since I started using these, I kid you not, I've been in love. And when 2020 is out, I will definitely be purchasing these for 2021. And I've taken out all of the previous months because I don't need any of that information. My idea for the inserts that I've already used is to sit down and do a thorough a planner flip of all of the systems that I use from all of my ring uh, inserts, pocket ring inserts, uh, digital inserts, and bullet journal inserts. So I think that would be a really interesting video to see how my planning has changed throughout the year of 2020. So I have all of that in here. I have an inbox section in here, and this section is specifically for things that arise. So say I get a phone call or something like that, and they tell me something or something comes up and I don't have time to kind of sit down and plan it in. I can jot it down in here, put the date on it. And then when the time comes when I'm planning, I can just section it out and put it in the areas that it needs to go in. And I just have a couple of sheets in here because I didn't need a whole, whole lot. Because as you can see, these lines are really small and they're front to back. So I just need a little bit in here to jumpstart what I'm trying to do. 
I have a pocket in here that I made that I probably need to remake, but all it's holding is a little color coding guideline thing that I made. Um, I really should update it, but for the time being, it's just in here. This is my schedule. So this is gonna be for all of my doctor's appointments and appointments that I might have with like school advisors or life coaches, um, specifically just for appointments because that's really what this insert is for. It gives you a time to put a to-do. So whatever you need to do for that appointment, um, a phone number that you can use to call for the appointment and who the appointment is with. So really this is just a note section, but I write down here what the appointment is for. And then what I'm doing is time blocking. So if I actually have more than one appointment on that day, I'm just gonna put them all in here, but I only have one thus far for this day and that's what I'm doing. Um, I thought that this would be helpful because it separates uh, things like this from personal things. Because sometimes when I'm in my personal uh, section of my planners or I have like other tasks associated around it, these kind of things can get lost. So this is specifically an uh, insert that will help me see what I really need to do um, appointment wise. And as things come up, as I schedule more things like I need to schedule an eye doctor's appointment and a dental appointment, um, I will put those things in here also. So I have those in here. And then after the appointment section, I have my daily section. So some may say, well, you know, you don't need an appointment section and a daily section if they kind of have the same layout almost. Um, but the daily section is specifically for daily things. This may be um, relevant for school. Um, for the most part, it may be relevant to projects that I'm working on for school. So um, time blocking is what I'm going to be working on. And I'm reading Franklin Covey's The Seven Habits of, and I forget the title. I will show you guys, but I'm reading that. And um, yeah, I, I'm trying to get an insight. I've never read anything Franklin Covey. I've never used anything Franklin Covey. So I'm really trying to get a handle on, you know, like planning and understanding planning a lot more because I think that um, for the most part, I'm a lister, but sometimes making a list doesn't necessarily put me in a position to effectively plan. So um, I'm just going to be trying to improve on things that I've, I'm already doing. Um, maybe I can change something. Maybe I can do something better, but I'm using this insert for originally you know same thing my daily tasks stuff like that um and possibly maybe putting school schedules in here too so as i'm doing online classes if there is a class that i'm working on i can put that all in here and i have six months worth and i probably don't need six months like i mentioned but i love to forward plan a lot um i have some flags and other uh functional things in here that I move around from planner to planner. These things just help me a lot when I'm trying to block off something or note something and I don't necessarily wanna write on the insert. Um, I have a personal section or no, I'm sorry. I have a journaling section, but really it's just a small note section. I didn't really have a notes tab, so uh, it's just labeled journaling, but it's just a, a small section. There's really nothing, almost no sheets really in this section. Just enough in here for me to jot something down really, really quick um, because I do use my bullet journal for a lot of different things. And then I have a personal section, which I'm not going to go too deep into, but personal is anything that you would think of that you don't want to show. So phone numbers, uh, bills, things like that. But I do keep some credit card holder inserts in here um, that don't have anything in them at the moment. Also... Um, I have these uh, inserts again in the back. All I do is draw um, every other line with a gray marker. Um, and then I also have a phone book section also here in the back that I haven't written in because um, the, I'm just gonna use that for class instructors. Um, in the back, I have a notebook uh, for any extra miscellaneous note. Um, if I'm using this planner and not the bullet journal at the moment, I can jot down anything else should I run out of uh, inserts for the little note section that I've created. 
in this pocket at the top i've tucked in some phone numbers that i've moved from planner to planner um also some military uh numbers that i've tucked in that are important that i need to keep up with so that is my whole system in the rings and again i wanted to keep it very basic and streamlined i'm using these paper mate gel pens they're fine point so it's 0.5 i'm using this they have a needle tip i don't know if you guys can see that too well let me see if i can hold it up maybe it has a needle tip um i'm using these i bought like a pack of 12s and i have two i have blue and i have black and I think I'm gonna get another pack of black. But I'm using them because um, I really like the Pentel Energel pens. I do wish that the, the Papermate pens had a um, wider barrel or a bigger barrel. But these pens are so expensive. These Pentel pens are like nine bucks for three on base. And I just, I run through these so much. Like I run through these like nobody's business and I didn't want to spend nine bucks every couple of weeks for these pens um, I will just buy some like buy another pack just to have on hand but I run through them so uh, the paper mate ones they come in a box like this they're like six bucks for 12 on Amazon so um, yeah I'm just using these right now um, and also the parkour pens I really love these pens, by the way. Um, I've been using them a lot, but I love these pens. I'm gonna get some more, so yeah. So now that we've kind of talked about my ring bound system, I wanted to jump into my digital system for a bit um, because I don't know, I, I've been playing around with my digital system and I really wanted to share it with you all. So this is my iPad and I keep it in this like cover where it's like a sleep wake kind of cover. Um, and I use a pencil, which is just a regular Bluetooth pencil. But what I'm doing is backing up information into this system. So I use the app Notability and I'll zoom you guys in if you can't see. So I use the app Notability and Notability I've used numerous of times when I was in school. It gives me the ability to import documents, type documents, import notebooks, textbooks, things like that. And then also I can use a digital planning system in here, which I have in here. So as I am doing schoolwork, I can obviously jump to here and write those notes and I can obviously put in things in here and I can time block and I can do a lot of different things uh, in here that I also do in my ring bound planners or my paper planners and things like that. I really want to get into showing you this uh, planning system. I really would like to show you that, but I don't want to show you something if no one will watch it. Um, but I would love to show like how I've used this because I've used this kind of system in the past, um, back in 2018 and 2017. Um, but yeah, it's a timed system. So you have your time system in here. So all of your days, um, have this six to nine, you have a master to do list for the day. Um, you have a section here to write notes, but I usually import a sticker of some sort and a place for you to write dinner if you want to. It also has a tracker in here. So all of these tabs are clickable. If you click up at the top and click habit tracker, it takes you straight to a habit tracker. If you want to do that, um, it's labeled January through December. So you have your tracker for each month all on one sheet and then you can track any different uh, mood or anything you wanna track mood wise, you can put here in a note. On the other sheet next to it, you have a habit tracker and you can just delete this and change it each month uh, is what I do. And you can track different habits. 
if you want to track anything else this uh is a dated planner i also own a undated planner that i'm not using at the moment but you have grocery list meal planning to-do list a month at a glance an expense tracker a yearly finance you have a habit tracker, mood tracker, yearly goals, bucket list, key dates, birthdays, and contacts. You can do all of that in here. Now, it won't click any of these other tabs because obviously I don't have those inserts in here. So I dedicated it to be six months instead of having extra months that I don't need. But I do have July in here and it will take me right to July. Now, what I do for stickers... I have a sticker uh, section and what I like about Notability is that you can categorize different things and lock documents if you want to protect them. So I have some military uh, paperwork in here. I have things in here like my resume, things that I don't necessarily want others to see if they should just so happen to use my iPad. I can lock them with a code. But this is my sticker, sticker book, and pretty much all it is is planner stickers. You can just use your lasso tool to circle what you want. These are like um, little icon stickers that you can use, and you can use any one of like these icons. They give you like so many different ones. These are little flags you can use, and all you do is use your lasso tool and circle around the ones that you want. I know some people aren't into digital planning, but like I said, if you have never used a digital planner, I highly encourage you to just try it just a little bit to play around with. And yeah, just see how it is. You don't have to have a $100 Apple Pencil. I know a lot of people who do digital planning always suggest the Apple Pencil. But if you get a screen protector, I got a screen protector on mine and you get like a good Bluetooth pencil that you can charge. This one has a tip that comes off. Um, it'll also time out when it feels like it's not being used. Um, and it also has a nice point on it. This is very equivalent to using an Apple Pencil. So my intentions like I've used with school in the past is I have Notability, which keeps all of my documents, all of my notes. I can always change the paper. I can plan in this. This is lightweight. This could go in my backpack. Um, I can use both my paper planner and my digital planner um, if I am going to be out and planning. I also like this because I have PowerPoint on here, which allows me to make uh, PowerPoint presentations for a class. I have my Google Drive on here. So everything productivity wise is all in one spot. I have Procreate if I need to change anything, uh, do anything extensive. And then I have documents and pages where I can upload um, notebooks. I also have my Amazon Kindle in here and this is the book that I'm currently reading which is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. These um, are just a couple of things. I have a couple of books in here but this one is just a book for um, me to read and thoroughly understand like planning and all these other things that I want to do um, but have no direction. So I really love having things digital sometimes. I do love paper and I always state that I'm never gonna go to paper or to digital fully, but it's just nice to have all of that together sometimes when you're out and about and um, it's easy accessible on your phone also. So um, that's what I wanted to state about this. So that is my digital system that I will be using for school and I have a little um holder back here which just holds the pencil into the case the last thing that i want to show you because this video is really long and i always tell myself i never want to make a 30 minute video i'm briefly gonna go over this really quick it's my laheat lab case if you follow me you've already seen this going over what i have in these pockets i keep my id debit cards uh, functional stickers and flags in here. I keep three pens in here. I keep a fine point pen in 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and in a Sharpie marker. I keep my mil or my German driver's license and other debit cards, flags, and a routines card. I have them labeled from daily, week, month, extra, and notes. All of this is just simple to-do list. So I jot things in here a lot. 
Um, I plan in here a lot. I forward plan in here a lot, but sometimes I really just need to see a date and that's where the dated ring planner comes in handy. Um, I take a lot of notes in here and by that, this is what I mean. I split things up. I brainstorm in here. I do a lot of different things. There's really no category of where these notes go. So I just use the next blank page and keep going from there. So I know this video was long and I know that there was a lot of information to be shared, but I hope that you guys took away something from the video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. I do appreciate the support that you share. Um, and also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, please jump over and follow me there. I will leave my Instagram name in the description box below. And as always, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in another planner video. Bye.